Hello everyone, this is the Urbana Project Ignition Team, uh, sponsored by our wonderful sponsors, Ms. Judy Weber-Jones and Mr. Nathan Watson. My name is Banan Garada and I'm a senior at Urbana High School. And here is our Project Ignition Team. My name is Frankie Mainville and I'm a senior at Urbana High School. My name is Fozia Garada and I'm a, a junior at Urbana High School. My name is Clark Mitchell and I'm a junior at Urbana High School. All right, the first question we ask is who are we? What are we trying to do? Well, our goal with Project Ignition is to educate our community and beyond about safe and intelligent driving. And I think something that clearly illustrates this is our mission statement. At Urbana Project Ignition, our mission is to save lives by promoting seatbelt usage and eliminating both distracted and reckless driving. This misstatement provides a focused approach for us and tells us exactly what we are doing. Our web, we recently created a website that shows a variety of photos and videos and links for the community to learn about safe driving and see what we have done. It's a perfect representation of our past, our present, and where we're going in the future. Now, this presentation today has been split up into three parts. The first part is what we have done. I think that one's a little bit obvious. It's the things that we've done during our time here at Project Ignition. The second one, the things we are going to do. These are things in the future and things, sadly, because of COVID-19, that we were not able to accomplish this past year. Um, and third is the different accomplishments and different safety messages that we put out over the years. So I think I'm done here and I'll pass it off to my colleague, Frankie. Hi, my name is Frankie Mangle, and today I'm going to present what Project Ignition at Urbana has done over the past three years. One of the events we've done is the Best Safe Seatbelt Awareness. It consisted of many members of our group putting on best tape around their torso to during the school day to promote the use of seatbelt among teen drivers and eliminate distracted driving. And We've also promoted the use of seatbelts because it is the safest way to protect ourselves while driving. Additionally, the seatbelt quick click challenge is an event we put together during the morning in the in spring morning, where we had four students divided in each group rotating around a vehicle. Um, they each got to be drivers, and we did this to as a fun way to implement safe driving among teen drivers. And the first, the fastest group received an incentive um, of $5 and the first place medal to display that accomplishment. We attended the Parkland College Open House and one of the events featured their secret veil with the distracted driving simulator. Students, especially teenagers and other college students got the opportunity to um, really simulate what it was like to drive while texting and um, they were able to realize the difficulty and the dangers of doing so. We handed out safety messages during um, this open house and we, it was also important because it was Distracted Driving Awareness Month in April. Another feature feature event at the open house was the roll over. We had cra crash dummies placed in a rotating car and the car was gonna be rolled over at a 35 mile per hour um, speed. And the audience got the opportunity to observe the results of crash dummies being placed in the car without a seatbelt and the dangers of that activity not wearing a seatbelt. They also included the crash dummies being buckled with a seatbelt and the results were outstanding because it demonstrated the importance of wearing a seatbelt, a safety belt in a vehicle because the dummies weren't as dangerous compared to the first situation. We've done seatbelt checks at our school, specifically three over um, the 2019 and 2020 year where we monitor people who are being dropped off at the beginning of the school morning. And we noticed that the majority of drivers follow the Illinois law requiring 
people to wear seat belts while those who were sitting at the back seat weren't following belt rules. So that's um, one area we plan on targeting in the future, really raising awareness of wearing the seat belt. Even if you're not the one driving, you can still be in danger in case of an accident while sitting in the back seat. After students finish their driver's ed education at Urbana High School, we distribute a few items to still promote and continue to educate them because um, driving safely is a lifelong, it's lifelong learning. And I just feel like we just feel as Project Ignition feels like it shouldn't really stop after um, finishing driver's ed at Urbana High School. One of the items we give is an AAA belt whip bag which prevents um, noises from um, being heard whenever we're driving which keeps the person not distracted whenever they're driving and promotes safety driving. We also give out an operation lifesaver keychain to promote railroad safety because in the Urbana Champaign community we're surrounded with um, a bunch of railroad tracks and it's really um, an important issue. We also gave out the Andy Kilburn Traffic Safety Foundation videos to, like I said, continue the education of safety driving. A phone box is another feature found in the driver's ed room at Urbana High School, and it constitutes of um, installing a phone box, at, installing your phone in a phone box at the beginning of class to really promote the safety, good safety um, driving habits within the student population learning to drive. And um, the students are more knowledgeable about on the road and have the opportunity of, um, have the opportunity to gain habits of putting it, putting their phone away whenever they're driving. And students only get their phones at the end of class. The pump booster featured on this picture um, pre-COVID, we had many of the classmen who were planning on attending prom, which eventually got canceled, and but we got their signatures and they promised to do four things during that night, which were to not drive, to not drink alcohol or take drugs, to not drive impaired, to not let a friend drive impaired, and finally make a promise to the parents that they would get home. And this is, these are really important issues within the Urbana Champaign community because we've actually had accidents during prom night of students not um, getting home after um, this wonderful celebration. Over the years, we've had many guest speakers come speak at Urbana High School. One of them is um, Dr. Kelly Barber Connerby and she taught us about the importance of keeping a low speed and wearing a seat belt and being careful on a gravel country road because um, of the experience of losing her daughter due to speeding and um, failing to wear a seat belt. Also, we've had Jody Curtis, an employee and an American employee that taught us the driver ed students have to be safe around a uh, down power line, which is really something many students don't have the opportunity to learn even in a um, classroom setting. So it was really good to have a guest speaker come speak about that. We also had Danny Hicks, who suffered a spinal injury himself, and due to um, not practicing safe driving. And finally, Jackson Huff. Adam Stone, an operation lifesaver who explained how to be safe and aware, aware of railroad. Finally, we're going to be um, showcasing the, an interview we did with Julie Dixon, which she is a USS administrator and vice principal. And she's going to be talking about how lack of sleep impaired the ability of her son to drive, which eventually got him in a car accident. During COVID-19, although we haven't been able to have in-person meetings, 
we've had infographics and a bunch of our videos sent through emails about our safety messages encouraging students to drive smart and intelligently on the road. Next up, I'm going to have one of my other colleagues um, informing you guys about what we're going to do in the future and um, this she's really going to talk about what we have our next plans our next steps after this. So what we're going to do? Well, we're going to be doing even more local and national outreach. So we'll be continuing sending emails to our whole student body, um, our banner student body, on safety messages and best um, safety practices for driving um, via um, school-wide emails, Google Classrooms, and even individual pings to get on that personal level. As well, we will also be um, gauging on the national level students and school districts from Georgia, uh, across Georgia, and specifically Decatur, Georgia, or Calhoun, Georgia, and even going beyond to Alaska and Palmer, Alaska, and Eugene, Oregon, to be able to, to truly get our message of protective driving habits beyond the boundaries of our community. As well, we will partner with the the Red Cross or uh, student Red Cross organization, specifically Oregon, to be able to combine uh, safety tips and practices for best um, safe driving habits with the Red Cross to be able to, to create a culture of safe and protective habits, especially when driving. We'll also be um, uh, providing some resources to our um, to students. Um, such as the traffic stop. And so to the right is a picture which, if you click on it, will direct you to this resource. Explaining the resource is, um, we have, you're a member of the Illinois State Police Department demonstrating how to properly act during a traffic stop pullover, making sure not to have any sudden movements, having your ID as a proof of insurance, and um, be ready and, of course, be courteous. And here we have the seatbelt convincer. Again, um, if you click on this picture, it will redirect you to the correct link. And uh, this video showcases an event we planned with the Illinois, um, Illinois State Trooper Police. And it was meant to simulate a low impact five to 10 miles per hour vehicle uh, collision to stress the importance of wearing a seatbelt. And over here, we have the golf car fatal vision goggles. Again, if you click on this picture, it will redirect you. The interactive program consists of sudden uh, students driving golf carts uh, around a color-filled obstacle course wearing fatal vision goggles to be able to stimulate um, intoxicated driving. And over here, we have motorcycle safety. Again, click on this link and it will redirect you. Um, it's an Illinois State Police officer going in-depth about how to stay safe, especially while riding a motorcycle. And this is construction safety. So if you click on this link, it'll tell you more about how to stay safe and Illinois police, state police officers specifically explaining how to be safe during a work zone site. And here we have some future events planned, um, specifically engaging with our Urbana City. We'll be presenting at the Urbana School District Board on May 4th, advocating for and putting on the table the importance of safety and project ignition to growing our urbana community as well we will be featured on our local news station wcia and the news gazette to be able to continue promoting the importance of protective driving to our community to to, to create uh, to benefit our community on the importance and the necessity for safe driving we'll also be pre presenting at the ADTSEA conference and the NSSP conference as well. Now I'll pass it on to our next team member presenting on safety messages and recognition. So I'm Sonzia and I'll be presenting on safety messages and recognition, which is kind of what we've done to get the word out about driving safe. So here we have students at Urbana High School who had the highest safe driving scores and we awarded them 
and awards to recognize their efforts and their practices of safe driving. We also are planning to give out bags and water bottles with the Project Ignition logo to student athletes to spread the word to the Urbana High School student body about safe driving, about Project Ignition, what we do, and to make sure to remind them to practice safe driving habits. We also had hallway posters, which we received because of being a top 20 team nationally for three consecutive years. And we have these posters in the hallways to further spread the message of what we do, our team, and our mission to our students in the hallways. We also have a student produced infographic we created that we are planning um, to put up on a billboard, which is a, um, a catchy um, way of encouraging um, driving safely, to encourage people driving on the highway to make sure that they are driving safely. Um, we also here have other posters and infographics that have really shocking statistics so that the viewer can see them and um, really realize how important it is to make sure to drive safely, to be paying attention and to practice safe driving habits. We also have t-shirts with Project Ignition logo so that when we walk around school, we are spreading the message of our team and um, so we can talk about what we do to other people um, seeing our shirt and our logo. We were also recognized in the IHSCDEA Idea Journal. This is the Illinois High School and College Drivers Education Association, which was created um, to recognize programs and people and initiatives that are encouraging safe driving habits. And we were recognized for our efforts. Also here we have Jonathan Warhofer. He was um, recently involved in a crash where police on the scene um, saw him and said that if he hadn't been wearing a seatbelt, he would have suffered a, suffered a severe injury or possibly even death. And so he was um, selected to be recognized by the National Highway Traffic Safety Association, as well as the Illinois Department of Traffic um, uh, to receive the Saved by the Belt Award. And we also wanted to um, highlight his inspiring story locally as well. So we also awarded him the Project Ignition Saved by the Safety Belt Award. And um, we also um, spread uh, the message of his story so that other students could see just how important it is to make sure to wear your seatbelt at all times in the car. We also um, conducted an interview with Mr. Waller, who is the Urbana High School um, Athletics Department head. And um, he talked about um, his views on project cognition and how it has impacted the community. And lastly, um, we want to give a huge shout out and thank you to our partners. Thank, thank you, you for listening. listening. We hope this has been an informative presentation presented by the Urbana Project Ignition team.